carriage and storage of water uh, is probably the single biggest impediment to free camping. Um, in our caravan we've got two 80 litre water tanks which is pretty typical of an Australian caravan uh, unless it's more of a high end or a special order type of unit. Uh, the water pumps in your typical caravan pump at around about 10 litres per minute. So in 16 minutes, both of these tanks on this van will be empty. Now taking into account um, the water that's sitting in the pipes, uh, a little bit of um, uh, miscellaneous water that's sitting in the bottom of the tanks that doesn't come out, uh, you're probably limit, uh, removing another 10 or 20 litres uh, from that 160 litre capacity. So realistically, you're gonna get about 15 minutes of water out of these tanks. So if you're showering every day, as we prefer to do, um, you're going to go through that water pretty quickly. You cannot source water other than from a potable water supply uh, and put it inside your water tanks. Water sources such as rivers, uh, creeks, uh, roadside water tanks, that type of thing are known to carry Guardia and they will make you cook and make you incredibly cook. And if you put that sort of water into your water tank you are going to poison your entire system uh, and the whole system will need to be cleaned out and sterilised or at least some kind of um, product such as ammonia or something run through it. Um, there's no way around this with your average caravan uh, and you're going to struggle to stay off road uh, and off the grid for an extended period of time with a standard caravan whether it be an on road or an off road makes no difference. Uh, the only way around that is to, is to uh, carry some kind of separate shower washing device and that's what we do. Uh, we've got a portable shower um, and it's an old Coleman, uh, but there's a vast array of varieties around made by Coleman, uh, Companion, and I think Primus make one as well now. Uh, that water can be sourced from anywhere. You can get water from rivers, creeks, on the side of the road, puddles if you want to, and you can run that water through that portable unit, and it's not going to poison anything other than the shower unit itself, which is irrelevant. You're not going to drink it anyway and therefore you can keep the 160 litres on board um, to use for your cooking and your drinking. Um, we use 23 litres, 20 to 23 litres a day uh, using this method and the three of us, which when my young fellow was travelling with us um, a few years back, uh, we all three of us would shower every day and uh, we could conserve our water quite comfortably down to about 20 to 23 litres a day. We also carry an extra two 20 litre jerry cans and a, and a third 30 litre jerry can. The two 20 litre jerry cans are just drinking water uh, or water and the, the third one is, is what we use to, um, to source water for the shower if we need to find non-potable water such as rivers and creeks and things like that. And, uh, and we, we use that, we clean that out, we put potable water in it when we start travelling and we'll decant those um, jerry cans into the van and, and use the 30 litre one to source other water for the portable shower. Uh, using that method, um, without a, water, a secondary water source, um, so at a place that there is no water potable or otherwise, we can survive off the grid for between 12 and 14 days uh, showering, each of us showering every day. If we can find a secondary water source, um, such as a river and a creek, that we don't have to put the water into the tanks because we don't use our onboard shower, we can basically stay off the grid indefinitely. 